Hello everyone, I'm Shivangi Sarda and welcome back to Weekly Market Watch. Let's start today's episode with some global cues. But before we move ahead, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for timely updates. So US and Asian market witnessed a mixed bag towards the end of the week, which was followed by disappointing US private sector hiring data, which dropped to three and a half years low. But service PMI data was above expected. The US 10-year bond yield has dropped to one-year low of 3.7%, driven by expectations of a rate cut. Dovish comments from the Fed officials and a decrease in new job openings enhanced sentiments around a potential rate cut at the Fed's September meeting. Now, the fall of events in the global markets could give some volatile cues to the domestic market. Now, Nifty started the week on a positive note and touched a fresh all-time high of 25,333 marks on Monday, but slipped thereafter throughout the week and witnessed long liquidation. Now, some hope was seen mid-week, but index slipped to close below 25,000 marks. Now, Nifty has to hold the immediate support near 24,800 for the bulls to be back in the party or else some downside move could be seen towards 24,650 and 24,500 zones. India WIX gradually rose throughout the week and spiked above 15.5 levels on Friday, giving some signs of discomfort to the bulls. Now, Bank Nifty slipped into more weakness and broke its 50 daily exponential moving average after sustaining above it for 10 long sessions. Now, even though some financial and insurance space companies were moving, the banking stocks continue to disappoint and we have seen some short built up here, which is not allowing this rate sensitive index to hold at higher zones. Now, if it holds a key support of 50,500, then some bounce could be seen towards 51,500, else the downside move could open towards 50,000 and 49,500. Now, sectors to watch out, weak demand from the China and US pulled down oil prices by more than 6% earlier this week and oil prices dropped to 14-month low, which is likely to drive a positive move for paint stocks. Apart from this, some of the consumption, pharma and selective mid-cap IT names will also be in focus. So fasten your seatbelt to face some volatile swings after a recent 14-day winning streak in the Indian market. So this is it for now. Don't forget to follow us. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.